I've used the Logitech MX Master for the last couple years, pretty much since it came out, and I absolutely love it. It's ergonomic shape, it's gesture support, and probably most importantly, the mag speed scroll wheel really make this almost the perfect mouse. So when Logitech said that they've got a new version with a redesign, it certainly piqued my interest. Could Logitech improve on pretty much perfection? Well, let's find out. Let's start off with what the MX Master line isn't, a gaming mouse. Of course, while you can game on it, and of course I did, it's not something that it's actively designed for. It's a good 141 grams, making it pretty heavy, and I would argue more importantly, it's a laser mouse, which means while it can track incredibly well on basically any surface, including glass, it's not exactly gaming great. What it is for is the ultimate productivity and daily use mouse that has a nice ergonomic shape that fits well in your hand and lets you easily reach every extra button that's on the mouse. Which I think nicely brings us on to the features. I'll start off with that scroll wheel. Logitech call this mag speed because it uses magnets to not only let you scroll normally with that normal notchy feel, but also either by pressing the button just behind that scroll wheel or just by spinning it really fast, lets you scroll effectively infinitely and almost silently as well. It's a very nice feature that lets you easily get around documents or web pages, especially if you're just trying to scroll really fast down to the bottom of a web page or something like that, and or you know a, a deep into a PDF that you want to find that specific page. That sort of stuff is very easy to do, very nice to do with this, and it's something that I've kind of become so accustomed to with the original MX Master and even some of their gaming mice before that that I don't think I could use a mouse full time without it. Then there are the gestures. This is where you push down the button that's buried inside the thumb support and then move the mouse either forward, backwards, left or right to activate a function. Now you do this through the Logitech option software and I generally only have one set up and that's push the button down and slide the mouse forward to press F5 to refresh web pages. I don't tend to use the others that much right now, but they have recently implemented a feature where you can have application specific options. So it will automatically switch, albeit pretty slowly, to do different things depending on what applications are open. For example, Premiere Pro and having say the side scroll wheel set to scroll through your timeline rather than say zoom in in web pages. And that scroll wheel I mentioned is actually one of the nicest I've ever felt on a mouse. It's a knurled aluminium block, which just has the smoothest feeling kind of scroll to it ever and it's just very very nice. I also really like the two buttons that are now below it that are generally back and forward but again can be customized in the software and have a very nice tactile feel to them without feeling stiff or under supported. Great job on the quality Logitech. Tracking wise, like I said, it tracks really well on pretty much any surface, which means you can use it pretty much anywhere, which is great to know considering it still has the option to use it with up to three devices any one time using the button on the bottom. You can use those devices either with the Logitech unifying receiver that comes in the box, or if you have other devices or other Logitech products, or even just other Logitech unifying receivers, you can switch between them, or even you can use Bluetooth too. Being able to use the mouse with multiple devices is great, but what they've made even better with it is the new flow feature. Basically, you install the Logitech's uh, option software on any PC you want, and then as long as the mouse is normally connected to it, you can then use the flow option to not only use the mouse between both systems seamlessly, but also even copy and paste files. That's pretty nice to see. Now that's not a feature I would use personally, or at least that often, but I do know a lot of people who would, and so for them I could see that that's a pretty decent value add. Which I suppose brings us to the main downside of MX Master 3, its value, or more specifically its price. It's currently £100, which makes it almost double the price of the original MX Master at the time of filming, and can the original can be had for even less than that on sale. So it can be a little bit hard to recommend considering you don't get that many extra features with the new one. You do get the flow feature, which is exclusive to the 2S and the 3, and you do get USB-C fast charging, finally, which actually is quite amazing. You get three hours of usage from just one minute of charging. 
kind of crazy. But other than that and the new revised shape, you don't get that much difference. So for me, since I already have it here, I will be switching. I do love the extra features. Of course, the USB-C fast charging is fantastic. And I do kind of like the new shape, although obviously I'm still pretty accustomed to the old one. So I'll take getting used to that for a bit. But if you are planning on picking up your own one, you will have to weigh up the difference between having the flow feature and USB-C charging and the newer shape over the extra money you'd have in your pocket if you went for the original or even for the 2X. So with that said, those are my thoughts. I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. What do you think of the new MX Master 3? What do you think of the difference between the 3 and the original? And would you pick one up yourself or would you rather just stick with your gaming mouse or whatever else? Let me know in those comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notification icon to be notified of those new videos. And if you want to pick up an MX Master 3 or just check out pricing when and where you watch this because it can and does vary, do check out that Amazon affiliate link in the description down below which like I said will take you to Amazon or more specifically your local Amazon store and you can see all of that. You can also use the rest of the links in the description to support the channel. There's Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. Or there's stuff like merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one or a load of other cool designs, especially a few more that are coming very soon. I'm very excited to show those off. And you can also check out stuff like uh, Patreon if you want to get cool rewards and support me directly. Private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN. Humble bundle for cheap games to support charities or even if you want to start streaming, stream Labs OBS too. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. You can check out some other videos over there. Maybe check out the original MX Master review if you want to see more on the original one. That's pretty much it. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.